Hey guys, I'm Evan. Hey guys, I'm Keontae. We are going to be doing a Ninjago podcast. So I know we did this yesterday, but unfortunately you can't really hear Keontae in it. So we are going to be redoing it. We'll be talking a lot. I will promise you guys that this video will be at least 40 minutes long. And I also promise that a Pokemon podcast will be up within this month. So basically guys, if you hear, or not hear, but like, there's a pause in me talking and then Keontae talking. It's because we have been working to try to get it so that both of us can be heard very well. So we're going to pass it to each other, pass the computer to each other as we talk. So I'm going to pass it to him and he can talk about what he wants to talk about for a few minutes. Um, I think the, the vehicle that's on screen right now, I think that's... That, I like how the vehicle looks. I I like how it's kind of unique, and I, and I like um the robot that's on with the like snake robot, and the ninjas. I feel like maybe could help. I mean, not help the ninjas. Uh, maybe fight the ninjas. And um, and I really like the suit saddle right now. So that has shown. Um. And, and I feel like that egg thing, well, is an egg for snakes. Um, and I like how Jay has a bike now, and I like now how the enemy has bikes. How, how it isn't like, how it, how it isn't like, oh, I'm gonna be unfair to the enemies. Or, I'm gonna, like, I knew, I know that the other like the Ninjago from like the old Ninjago, they did have vehicles, but I like how like Jay has a motorcycle, and now the the villains have a motorcycle, and so it's kind of even. And like the the bad guys have a robot, and the good guys have a dragon or from or a, wait, what is that called? A uh, confused dragon? A fusion dragon, that's what it's called. And also guys, I also will be basically, we'll be doing it more so we don't really like all talk and then like in the middle he'll have a comment. We'll basically do like, I'll talk about something, then I'll pass it to him when I want him to talk about something, maybe asking him a question and then he'll do the same. And that's how we're going to work it. So yeah, he just talked about how now it's, it's a little bit more fair. And I do feel like it definitely is. The villains do have a lot cooler vehicles, but I also feel like the villains don't have enough vehicles. I think Wave 2 should have at least one villain vehicle, if there is a Wave 2. There should be a Wave 2, there honestly should. But you know what I do feel like was the best of this type of thing? The rebooted season. I feel like a lot of the sets were very good, especially with uh, some of these sets that were focused around the good guys, because a lot of them did have a lot of bad guy stuff. And there was a lot of bad guy things in all of these sets, well, like, some of the sets anyway, so I think that is pretty cool. Uh, so now I'm going to ask him something. What do you personally think about the Zane suit? That is your favorite. Um, I like it, and I'm glad that they let, that they kept him, what is his purple or Titanium, yeah. Um, I like how they kept that look. I, I like how they didn't make him become a different color in the new seasons, like, that would just be weird, very much. And I like how he, um, and I like how he, like, didn't, I like how he stayed with the ninja, he didn't, like, just go off and be a different hero. all of the ninja would stay ninja but you know we have had some things in the past where it does seem like there's these temporary ninja they like to bring on the show luckily all the main ninja we had uh and things like that they have always stayed the only season that ever added a new ninja was season one and many things you can find that is mia no mia wasn't the pilot she just wasn't the ninja so mia was still there but lloyd he didn't appear until the first episode of season one uh but uh yeah, the, like, how it's worked with the name, 
ninja. I do think at the end of this, if this is planned to be the last season, they should have it so, like, basically, Kai and Nia go work with their parents or something like that and help them. And, like, uh, Jay and all the others and Cool and, you know, Zane and Boy, uh, they should, like, go off on their own thing, do their own thing. Like, they each become like, professional something or whatever. Uh, what would you think of an idea like that? Well, that would be cool. But, like, like with Zane, maybe he could be, like, someone that would, like, fix robots or something. Because he is one, maybe. And, um, I don't know with Cole. I don't know what. Hmm. I don't know. I personally think Cole could possibly be a minor. Because that would yeah. be pretty cool. Although, if you guys remember, this is actually one of my favorite scenes from Ninjago. Uh, the part in Tournament Development Season 4, at the start, first episode, Wait, yeah, it was Tournament Development, um, where Cole and all the other ninja were doing their own thing. Like, Kai was a wrestler, Jay was a comedy show, uh, runner, like a producer, uh, Cole was a lumberjack, Zane was, of course, not there, and Lloyd was, what was Lloyd? I can't remember. Um, um, yeah. oh, it isn't on the top of my head. Hmm. I still remember the episode um well he found well he found the snake. Yeah, the uh that those episodes where Lloyd found the snakes. Very nostalgic. Of course, Lloyd uh as a kid was kind of like the original, like, he was kind of the original bad guy, besides in the pilot, like, season one, he was the original bad guy, even though <laughs> he wasn't the bad but everyone was like, really, it's just a kid, that was very cool, I did very, very, very much like that arc. Yeah, and I do very, very much like the new design of the Danger Seeds. And also, what I really do like about the design, I like the design of the Vermilion a lot. They look so cool. It seems like Ninjago is now made for the people who have been watching since those pilots since 2011, January 2011, when the pilot first premiered on Cartoon Network. I feel like that is what this season is meant for. The people who did that, the people who watched it, the people who have been fans for almost six years now. Me and Keontae, 12 to 13 year old. This season definitely seems like a more like older friendly, older kid friendly season. And I really do like that. What do you personally think of that? It was kids only, but of course we were kids. Like we, like we wouldn't just wanna watch a show and like blood and gore. Um, but I like how everyone, like it. How many was this? And how it's kind of like evolved upon the years of an Injago. <laughs> No, it doesn't have to be Pokemon for stuff to evolve in it. If you didn't hear it, that's what he was talking about. He was like, this isn't Pokemon. Um, but, yeah. The stuff 
in the new Ninjago season definitely seems like it's for a lot of older children, like me and Kiyaki, which I love. That's amazing. The show has evolved with us. That's so cool. The show is very rarely do that. They don't really say they're child-friendly antics. Of course, we do not really know if, you know, it's more, like, dark. But it definitely does seem like it. It does seem like over the past few seasons, Ninjago has been getting a lot darker. Yeah. Like, the Day of the Departed kind, I guess, because, you know, the, the weapons and everything. But uh, Skybound, you know, the love element between Jay and Mia, as well as Possession, Season 5. Where, you know, it, it, it is the darkest season we've had. You know, with Moro dying at the end. The only season where someone who helped the ninja stayed dead. Garmadon. What do you think about that? How do you think this is going to affect the future? Of course, it's happened for a long while, but how do you think it might run long-term upon the Ninjago community? Well, one of what's happened, I was Yeah, Garmadon was one of the most interesting villains. He really did have a passion for Lloyd, and he really did love Lloyd. He helped Lloyd, even though he was against Ninja, trying to fight against him, and Lloyd was one of the Ninja. He still, he still did not fight Lloyd. He tried to avoid it as much as he could, and he helped Lloyd as much as he could. If Lloyd was in danger, he'd help the Ninja. Garmadon was always like that. I also like that with Garmadon, they had him throughout multiple seasons. They did it so every season, the first, like, season zero, season one, season two, they were all connected with Garmadon, you know, being the main villain of the first Overlord. And then the Overlord kind of came back and rebooted, which kind of connected it with that. But I feel like that wasn't as big of a connection. We haven't really had a connection like that, where the, everything, every single event that happened in one season affects the next. So I think it's really interesting how they did that. And I think they should so do it again. Like, I don't know. Maybe something with, like, Hands of Time. Maybe following Day of the Departed and those mentions of events. Even just small things like that. Like, mentioning Day of the Departed. Yeah, I felt, I felt like that, that season was really cool. But it's just... I'm glad that they don't... I'm glad that, like, they don't make the ninja have a different... Like, Zane, how he blew up. I'm glad that they didn't have changed his personality. Personality traits. I like how they didn't, like, oh, he's he's gonna be, like, a buff, weird guy or something like that. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be, like, a, like, a, like, someone that's gonna be, like, oh, I'm gonna fight you, and, and then... Like a lone wolf. I like I like all the ninjas, cause and like Kai, in the first season, he was like almost like a lone wolf, wasn't it? Kai, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Kai. He was almost like a lone wolf, but then he like saw the ninja, like Zayn, Kai, and I mean not Zayn, Kai. We're talking about him, like Zayn, Cole, Jay. Like, he trusted them, so he worked with them. And it really did seem like, in the pilot episodes, they really did establish that very well. I like the one-hour specials, but I do believe Day of the Departed seemed a little bit rushed. I mean, it did make sense. I mean, they had, like, what, six, seven villains? I can't remember. Uh, wait, no, actually. There was... There was set, yeah, seven villains, although one of them didn't fight because it was Moro, but, um, yeah, it, it, they, they had an hour to have six villains fight seven, uh, ninja characters. So, I do feel like that was a little bit rushed in that regard, but I do feel like the pilots really tied everything together very well. And, like, Kai and, uh, and Jay and, uh, not like, um, and Cole and Zane, all of them really did seem like a team by the end of it, even though it was only an hour. 
Yeah, I do agree with Evan. Um, I mean, like how how they don't make the they don't make the new sets like like I like how with Ninjago some do just do this. Some sets just give the minifigs. Like if you want a minifig, that's good. But like me, I like sets. And like Evan, he has a crap ton of sets. Yeah, of course, a little bit, uh, kind of bitter language for children, but hopefully it's not that young. I mean, it's, it's not a swear, but still, you can use it at a school that doesn't have anywhere above fourth grade. Anywhere above fourth grade, anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, just, just saying about that, because this is a child-friendly video. It's, it's only, just don't repeat it if you're... Yeah, I mean, most of the people who are watching this are, like, really just talking about this right now in this <laughs> video. I'm, like, 13 years old. Um, but, yeah, just saying, if you're a young kid, don't say it. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not bad, but it's just not something a young kid would be talking about. Teachers might get mad at you at school. But, um, basically, with Ninjago, it's always been a situation of problem happens, Problem continues. Problem continues again. Yeah, and then problem ends. I I think a lot of the more, uh, like the uh, newer seasons, and some of the older ones as well, especially rebooted with Zane dying at the end. There was a problem that happened at the end. Didn't get fixed at the end. Uh, and I'm not sure what Hands of Time will be like. I do think it'll be pretty cool. Also, what Keanti said about the actual sets themselves. Uh, the play sets and then the vehicle sets. There are the two different types. And when we get back from the intermission, we will talk about those two different types. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, we're back. We just wanted to make sure everything was working perfectly. And also, guys, this was planned to go up today, which is the, I believe, the 20th today? Okay. Um, okay. but, uh, it may go up, uh, the day after it was supposed to be planned, as we may not have enough time to get 40 minutes into it, but I promised 40 minutes of this video, so... We're gonna do it! Yeah, okay. we're gonna do it! We are going to do it! Uh, but yeah, we do have a limited number of... Uh, no limited amount of time. Yeah, like what he said, I wish I could stay over, but of course, school and school is. I can't spend the night over, but I wish I did because we go to the same school, but eh, whatever. Yeah, so now let's get into Ninjago. So. Uh, so Ninjago has always been a very interesting thing, as I said. And also, as I said before, we will talk about the two different types of sets. The vehicle sets and the play sets. So, the vehicle sets are pretty self-explanatory. They have vehicles in them. They're all about vehicles. The play sets, you may not know about. You can kind of relate it to something like Barbie. <laughs> I know, it's very, it's very girly, but, um, like... Playhouse or whatever. Like that word. Play sets are ones that no vehicles. It's like a big house type of build. And you're playing in that with the figures and stuff. So with this, we do have multiple play sets and multiple vehicle sets. And one of the sets does seem like it's full. Uh, so I'm going to now hand it over to Keanu and see what he has to say. And like what I said in the other video that you couldn't heal me. What I like is, wait, <laughs> I just went blank, um, yeah, like, if you're a girl, girl, uh, boy, or even if you're a female, you can, st you should at least try to watch the show, and if you don't like it, you don't like it, but give it a try, because it isn't that bad after, after a while. Yeah, if you're a little bit older, you might find the, uh, earlier episodes a little bit cringy but if you uh if you are an older person definitely watch the new season it looks like it's going to be good just because it's lego which might seem a little bit childish for older people like us doesn't mean a show about it 
isn't good. The show is so good, and it doesn't matter if you are male or female. Either which way, you can still watch the show and enjoy it. Just some people don't, and some people do. You should definitely check out the show if you have not seen it. And, to get you started, I'm going to try, hopefully I'll remember, this is a pretty long video, uh, so hopefully I'll remember, after recording this, to leave a link in the description to the uh, pilot episodes. Or, also, you can also go to the... I, I will make it, It's right now it's private on my YouTube channel, but I will make it public. I believe it's private. Uh, I have an Injago All Episodes playlist. I haven't added much to it yet, but if you want to check out the show and you haven't seen it before, check out that playlist. Just click on playlist. It should be there. I have the pilot episodes in it already, and I'll try to add some Season 1 episodes as well. So you guys can watch that and, you know, see if you like it. And hopefully you do. Yeah, and it's just cool how... I like how it isn't like, oh, it's gonna stay childish. I like how it, how it's kind of more getting all age. How it isn't like the first episode, first episode child, kind of childish, and then it got more all age. Like first we came, weren't we like seven and six when we first figured it out? Yeah, yeah we were okay. So when we first saw the show. I was six, almost seven. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to reveal my birthday because, um, yeah. People knowing my first name and my birthday might reveal a little bit more information than I want about myself. Uh, but, but, so, yeah. But, um, basically, I was six, almost seven, and Hiyate was seven. Uh, when we first saw the show, that's when it actually came out. Not only, not really, I mean, it was when it first started, but it was also when it first came out. And we really did like it. I, I think Ninjago is a thing that people of all, like, ages and styles and genders and backgrounds can all enjoy. And there's nothing that's really blocking you from seeing it. It's pretty easy just to turn on your TV and just go to a channel called Ninjago. On most uh, things, it's on Cartoon Network, like most networks. It's on Cartoon Network. That sounds very repetitive. But uh, that's where I see it on. But if you want to see some of the older episodes, well, one, you can check out my Ninjago All Episodes playlist. And two, you can also um, look on, if you have a thing where you can like, watch stuff that already came out, I have a thing called On Demand on my TV. And I can just look up anything that's come out like in the past few months. Or years, even, sometimes. Um, so you can look at stuff that's already came out. So if you want to see Ninjago, you should check out those two things. Yeah, like what he said, I'm just glad that it came, like, it is a child, well, it was childish when it came, but I'm just, and I'm glad that they made, I think they make the characters now more, like, detailed than the other ones. Like, I know the first ones were very te- really detailed, I mean, detailed than, like, the first ones, I think. Yeah, um, the, the show, also, okay, okay, so, we have been saying a lot about how the older stuff is more childish. We don't, uh, hate it, we do love it. It is probably our favorite stuff, right? Yeah, I love it. Especially, like, like, season one, Snake's so nostalgic, especially, like, Pythor and Scales and all them. Um, so we do love the other seasons. It's just, nowadays, if they came on TV right now, we wouldn't like them as much as we did back then, because we are, of course, older. But nowadays, if we saw these back then, we would be like, mm, it's a little bit too, like, I don't know, like, too, not our age, like, too, I guess inappropriate, but that sounds just, that sounds like this show is, like, bad. But, um, it's... But, no, it, it isn't, I mean, like, inappropriate for our age, I guess. Because it's meant for a little bit of older kids. But now that we're seeing it now, this is probably the best time to see it. Because we'd like it the most at this uh, point of our lives. So we do love all seasons of Ninjago. We love Ninjago. It's such an amazing thing. And I really think, if you guys have not seen it, you should definitely check it out.
Yeah, because Ninjago, it is a kid show, but it's a good kid show. A show that can be enjoyed by all ages. The plot is great. The characters are great. Everything's great. I love it so much. That is why I am still watching it to this day. If I did not like it, I would totally just quit a long time ago. But I still watch it because of this. I do like it. And like, out of Chima and, uh, um, like, Ninjago, I would rather do Ninjago. Like, Ninjago, I grew up with. Pretty much. And like with um, Chima, I'm like, I don't like it as much. Do you? I definitely don't like it as much. Chima was never finished. Chima was a thing that it, it just, I mean, it had an okay story, had some okay characters. Uh, it was good, I could say, but Ninjago compared to it, literally, Ch if Chima is good, Ninjago is immensely, immensely amazing on that scale. My opinion. And guys, um, you don't have to, but um, and say in the comment section if you really want, say if you like Ninjago or Chima, or even Nexonites, or maybe Bionicle. Yeah. Although I, I do think, uh, the more people that watch this video, the more Bionicle is going to be down there because a lot of you did grow up with Bionicle. Yeah, Bionicle. I okay, guys. In terms of like very important Lego franchises. Uh, in terms of, like, Ninjago, Bionicle, uh, Chima, and Nexonites. Ninjago's my favorite, but then Bionicle, then Chima, then Nexonites. Uh, but a lot of you will say Bionicle's the best. And I do, um, agree on the fact, not, not on that fact, well, not, it's not a fact, but, um, it's an opinion. But I do agree with, uh, with you people when you do say Bionicle did more to help Lego than Ninjago. I know it did. But I love Ninjago. I grew up with it. And if you, if Ninjago came before Bionicle and the two things switched spots, and Ninjago was the one that got Lego out of bankruptcy, you'd be saying that Ninjago was uh, not as good. Uh, if, you know, like things like that. So it's very interesting. There's multiple opinions among this. But yeah, I do respect Bionicle fans, and I do think Bionicle is really cool. And I do think that the 2015-2016 uh, sets were pretty lackluster. But, back to Ninjago. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick say one thing. Yeah, I agree with Evan. Like, I like Ninjago. I grew up with it. But I still, I still like Bionicles. Like, like they don't, they don't just end the bad. Like, you're stupid compared to Ninjago. I still like both. It isn't like, oh, oh, this is better. And like, for people that say Bionicles, we, um, it's okay, but don't, don't do a rant in the comment section. Yeah, hopefully you guys want to have a flame more of or which you like better. Uh, right now Ninjago is probably the most popular Lego franchise that Lego created itself and just like made up. It, it most definitely is. Uh, but guys, I think okay, I think Ninjago is super good. I think Bionicle is very good. I think Chima is good. I think Next Nights is also good. And yeah, like how everything works with uh, with Ninjago and all the other shows. I wonder what the fourth show will be. And a lot of people are wondering about that. But I don't think we're going to get one for many years. I think. Lego Out Movie is going to be the next big Lego creation. Yeah, and I do agree. I and I cannot wait to see that movie. Like with Lego Batman, I do like both things. It's just Chima and Ninjago is my heart. There's no way that I would choose any Lego thing when I mean, Lego company, not company, Lego show. Over Ninjago. And guys, so right now, currently, if I could choose to bring any Lego franchise back from the dead, I would choose original Bionicle stuff, but if Ninjago ended, I would still choose Ninjago. I would easily uh, change back to, I would easily change to Ninjago. I love it that much. Literally, any franchise. No, I, I would pick Ninjago over it, bring back once Ninjago goes. But unfortunately, Ninjago does have to go. But we do have Ninjago Movie, and there's probably going to be Ninjago Movie 2, 
because we know Ninjago is going to be successful. There's no way that the Ninjago movie, like, the Ninjago movie is 100% going to make a second one unless, like, it gets no view and no likes. Well, nobody likes it. But me and Evan, we are going to love it. Like, there's no really way that we're going to hate it unless, mm -hmm. like, and that's like, it's super bad, like, oh, what's up, I'm gonna fight you, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, the Ninjago movie, it's gonna be a very interesting thing. I kinda do like that it just starts the story over with an entirely different story, because that does give Ninjago an option to appeal to a whole new fan base. I think what would be cool, I would definitely not like it as much as the original stuff, but if they made, like, a whole new show for the Ninjago movie and continued that storyline, that'd be cool. I definitely won't like it as much as the original stuff. But I do, I would still watch it and I would still like it a lot. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm of course gonna like the Ninjago movie, but the original, I think, has to be the best. Like, with Shima, like, with Shima, I liked all the characters I know, it's just... Ninjago has to be one of the best, and I know for all of you Chima fans, I still, like, I'm, I'm not going to hate it, but it is my favorite. Ninjago. Um, like, we do respect you Chima, Nexon, and Bionicle fans, and more, but Ninjago has always been our life, our personality, our favorite thing of all time. Ninjago got me through so many tough times. So many things where I was like, oh, come on. There's just so much, like, bad stuff going on in my life right now. And Jago, it got me through it. Well, I don't, I don't really have any bad stuff. But, you know, you know what I mean. Like, it's like, oh, wait, I just lost 20 bucks for my job. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then Jago was like, yeah, watch it. It'll cheer you up. And Jago always cheers you up when you're a little bit sad. That's why I like it so much. Because it appeals to so many people, which is awesome. Yeah, I do agree. And, like... When are you, like, we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. Um, like what I was going to say, me, I personally like everything, but I just love Ninjago. Like, there's no way, like, what Evan said, how did like, if Ninja, of course, Ninjago is gonna go. But, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Like, Ninjago, I know it's gonna die. Uh, but I'm, I still, I'm gonna like. Like it. I still like Bionicles. I still like everything. But I love it. Can't I sign you off? Bye. Okay, Kiyoshi has to go. So, guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, this led up to the 40 minute mark that I promised. But yeah, Ninjago, what is it? It's amazing. We love it. It is something we have known for so long. Something we all love. Something we have all brought close to ourselves. It's something we have all known and loved for many years. And with that, I think I'm going to end it. If you guys like this video, if you guys like Ninjago, like it. If you guys don't like this video, or don't like Ninjago, just like it. Remember, subscribe. If you subscribe, I will comment and reply to you. I will reply to everyone who says that I subscribed or something of that nature. But with that, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a fantabulous Spinjitsu day.